North Korea is one of the poorest and most reclusive countries in the world, but it has some impressive firepower. <laughs> 이민군이 불시에 불마당지를 시작하면 It conducted two nuclear tests in 2016 and three others since 2006. Experts guess that it has between 8 and around 20 warheads. The North also has thousands of rockets and artillery pieces aimed at Seoul, the South Korean capital. Its Taepyeong-3 missile can put a satellite into orbit and has a range of more than 8,000 miles, enough to reach Los Angeles. And let's remember whom we're dealing with. North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-un, is a 30-something-year-old Swiss-educated son and grandson of North Korea's only two leaders since 1948. He has a reputation for iron-fisted rule and brutality. Reports by Human Rights Watch say he's imprisoned between 80,000 and 120,000 political opponents. He's executed several of his father's most trusted advisors. He blew one to bits with an anti-aircraft gun. And to say North Korea has been belligerent towards its neighbors is an understatement. It admitted to abducting Japanese citizens in the 1970s and 80s, and is suspected in the disappearance of hundreds of others since the 1940s. It sunk a South Korean warship in 2010 and fired artillery shells in the south. North Korea often threatens to turn Seoul into a sea of fire. Earlier this year, it vowed to, quote, burn Manhattan down to ashes with a hydrogen bomb. All this might seem crazy, but North Korea watchers say there's a method to Kim Jong-un's madness. His main goal is to preserve his grip on power and prevent a foreign attack. North Korean threats to turn the United States into a fiery wasteland, for example, are always phrased as warnings of what North Korea would do if it were attacked first. China is North Korea's economic lifeline and chief political protector. So why doesn't it keep its hothead neighbor in line and force Kim from power? China wants to prevent a North Korean collapse that could trigger a flood of refugees across its border. And North Korea serves as a useful buffer between China and South Korea, where nearly 30,000 U.S. troops are stationed. Having an ally that's a thorn in the U.S. side serves China's interests.